Okay, welcome. So, as I've uh, already said, this is the sequence that you need to run through to upgrade the memory on your QNAP NAS device. So, this is a 2 gig version. I'm going to take the 2 gig out and I'll be installing um, a, an 8 gig kit. So, the first thing you want to do is you want to come back around the back and you want to take out the case screws of which there are four make sure you don't lose the screws so I'll put them in there Final one. Now this is a wraparound case, so that you'll you'll f see that this case goes all the way around the device. So taking it off, you have to take the take the blanking plates out as well, or the the disc trays. Once you've got it into the unlock position, that case will just lift off. Okay, so as you can see here. So the next thing that you want to do is there are two screws on the top here, holding the back plate fan assembly on. And then there's some screws down in the bottom here. Uh, we want to, we're going to release this cage so we're going to take the two screws out of there, two screws out of there, and then that will allow the, the disc cage to lift off, um, and then we can tackle the other one in a sec. So let's take this off here. Again, make sure we don't drop the screws. So these are slightly different size screws, you want to keep them separate. Uh, the ones from inside have all got uh, uh, a red line across them. Go. So they're all going in there. So that's now the back plate uh, unclipped from this main. Alright, let's get these out. Just a couple more screws. Okay, so there we go. So that uh, whole assembly lifts out. Here's the um, here's the disc board. So the discs plug straight into the back. That plugs into the, the main board. So what we want to do here is, you can see here, we've got the first two gig RAM chip slot and the second one over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to release those clips there. And that so dim lifts out. So we'll put that to one side. We're going to take the 8 gig kit, two 4 gig um, 
chips. If we can get in here. First one goes in under here. Of course, you've got to get it in the right way around, but once you do, you can get to the back of it so you can slot it in. Uh, I've got a pair of long nose pliers here. I'm just going to leave at the back, put some pressure on that to make sure that that can be pushed into the right place. And there we go, until it clips in, and then that will just push down until it locks in place. That's the first one done. So you can see that uh, nicely in place here now. So the second one, exactly the same as what we did with the first one. Rise that up, being careful not to touch it too much. Okay, and that will slot in on the way up, so it pushes straight in and clips down. Make sure that's in because it's uh, don't have to come back and take that off again. So the next thing that you do is you want to put the disc tray back on. So again, being very careful, making sure that that slides in to the right place. Just pushes down nice and gently. And then we want to take the four screws that we're holding the top plate in. I'm actually going to use a different screwdriver for this. Just going to use a jeweler screwdriver so I can get in there easily because it's magnetic. So I'll put these in lightly and then I'll go around and uh, tighten them up afterwards. Okay, so that's not quite in the right place. There we go. Start it off slowly until it bites, and then you can just whiz it straight in. Okay, this side. Like that. There we go, so that's the uh, four screws in there. Just make sure they're tight. The last thing we want is the cage to uh, come loose once it's in operation. And that's these two small screws.
and sit. Set the memory, that can go back in one of those. And then we take a top panel. We want to slide that Once it's in the right place, push that forward. Make sure it's all aligned, which it is. And then you've got the last four screws. One, two, three, four. And it really is as simple as that. So what, what I've done here is the base unit, the just the enclosure, um, with 8 gig. Uh, it's over 500 and, uh, 560 pounds, so uh, basically you save, you can save yourself some money by buying the crucial 8 gig upgrade kit, which is 53 pounds 99 take out the two gig of memory, put eight gig of memory in there and your still quids in. Now what I've actually done as well is um, I bought an unpopulated enclosure as you've seen and I bought four 12 terabyte discs to go in it and overall I've saved 203 pounds 13 pence by upgrading it myself and putting the discs in myself simple okay so that really is it that is one eight gig QNAP NAS drive